Next to speak with you is Dr. Kenton Zare. He is the Executive Director of DMC's Heart Hospital and Cardiovascular Service Lines. Good morning. I'm uh, Kenton Zare. I'm the Executive Director for the Cardiovascular Service Line for the Detroit Medical Center. And that encompasses a large number of hospitals, primarily the Adult Central Campus, which includes the Heart Hospital and Harper Hospital and Detroit Receiving Hospital. And then we also work uh, in the cardiovascular space at Sinai Grace Hospital and at Huron Valley Sinai Hospital as well. And so kind of overseeing all these uh, cardiovascular care centers in a COVID pandemic was an interesting thing. You know, in the news we see many different catastrophes. We see tsunamis and tornadoes and and volcano eruptions and we see the experts uh, talk about uh, you know what's to be expected and what the impact on society is for these disasters and we sit back and we're not experts this isn't in our wheelhouse and so we don't know what to how to respond so to speak but here we're faced back in February with a pandemic which is in our wheelhouse in fact it affects primarily the patients that I take care of, the elderly patients, the obese patients, the patients with hypertension, the patients with diabetes. And so here we're faced with a pandemic that affects our primary patients. And, uh, and it also was a pandemic that made people very, very fearful. For, so uh, a lot of people are aware that cardiovascular disease is the number one uh, Mort cause of mortality in the United States. In fact, if you put it down to real numbers, it's about 1,700 patients per day die in the United States uh, of cardiovascular disease. So here we have a pandemic which affects primarily these patients. In the back, you know, and in the background is the prevalence of this disease within this pandemic. So we're faced with two problems. Number one is, you know, how we how we manage the patients that are coming to us that are COVID positive. And number, number two in my space was how do we manage to provide a safe environment for the people that are continuing to have cardiovascular disease within this pandemic. And so um, I, I would say we kind of took that one on early because we continue to have pressure from the emergency room with patients coming in with uh, ST elevation myocardial infarctions and, and non-ST elevation myocardial infarctions, we had to deal with them. So we figured very quickly how to get rapid testing into our cath labs and so that we could be sure that, our, that we could isolate the patients which were COVID positive and treat them appropriately. And that we could isolate the patients that were COVID negative and also treat them appropriately and also protect our staff. And so I think that that was our biggest uh, challenge, uh, February, March, April. And now it's much, much easier because uh, we're, we're streamlined. Uh, everybody gets tested. So we know if they're positive or negative when they're going into a diagnostic procedure. All elective surgical procedures, we wait on them until they're negative. Uh, we've operated on very few patients which are COVID positive. And, uh, and so I think that we have things now safely under control where it's safe to come to the hospital and be treated. I was talking a little bit about how this COVID pandemic has affected, you know, my, my community, which effectively in Midtown here is an African-American community, which has a high prevalence of, of disease, of hypertension, diabetes, obesity. And one of the things that this pandemic has done for us is it has pointed out the, the, the appropriateness of getting better control over these disease processes. A lot of these disease processes also end up in renal failure, kidney failure, and patients on dialysis as well. And so I think that, you know, if there's any blessing to come out of a, of a pandemic like this, it's a heightened awareness of, of, the, important, uh, of the importance of taking care of your daily health, keeping the blood pressure under control, watching your sugars, uh, weight loss programs, and, uh, and things like that. I think one of the main messages here that I want to put across as a heart surgeon is, is that cardiovascular disease still is the number one killer in the United States. 
And just because we have a pandemic doesn't mean that that progression of disease doesn't march on. And so we continue to have, and we noticed this because we saw excess deaths in the community during the COVID times. People were staying home, they weren't coming in with their chest pain. They weren't coming in with their shortness of breath. And uh, we in the state of Michigan, in the surgical cooperative, which includes all the, all the hospitals that are doing heart surgery within the state of Michigan, one of our biggest emphasis recently has been to say, to let people know that it's very, very important to continue to manage your chronic diseases and to seek help when you have symptoms. And the main, you know, symptoms like, like, uh, like chest pain that can be a harbinger of having a heart attack. And that will, that will get you just as much as a COVID virus will get you. And I think it's really important that you seek care. And we've done everything that we can to make sure that it's safe for you to come to the hospitals and seek care. We do rapid testing on everybody that's getting diagnostic procedures and surgical procedures, and we separate patients out that are positive as opposed to those patients that are negative. So I think one of the things I want to emphasize is that at the DMC, it is safe to seek care in our emergency rooms, in our diagnostic catheter laboratories, and it's safe to also seek therapy in our surgical suites. We're here for you. 